Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I mean, gentlemen only. Sorry. I hope you've been well during my absence the past eight months. I've been very hard at work, pouring my time and energy into researching, designing, and launching my second flagship system. It's called the PLUS system. It officially launched in October, but now I shift my focus and energy to continue creating informative content on YouTube. This video is going to be the first in series of five videos on the tea boosting protocol. Why do we need a tea boosting protocol? Okay, now let's dive into this crucial topic for guys, especially for you over 40. Then the testosterone levels decline. Now, obviously scientific studies has shown clearly that testosterone levels decline as men age. And it's not a minor decline, it's a concerning trend. Furthermore, the average 20 year old today has lower testosterone compared to the same age group the previous year. The evidence from this comes from a pivotal study done by Traverson 2007, which highlighted the significant decline in testosterone levels of American men over time. The ramifications of this decline are it's, it's far reaching, contributing to what some, me including, believe to be a masculinity crisis. Men are grappling with lower testosterone levels, but I'm here to offer a solution. As a coach, I specialize in team management, and recently I was honored by Global Health and Pharma for my innovation and skills. I got the award for the best men's lifestyle and fitness coach for 2023. Now, with my 60th birthday approaching in less than 10 months, I can confidently say that I'm in the best shape of my life and I've achieved this by following the right approach. Now in the upcoming series of videos I'll be sharing with you the tea boosting protocols consisting of five levels. This video is going to deal with level one. Okay now the critically important first step before you can even start with level one it's essential to know your baseline testosterone levels your total testosterone and your free testosterone. Now you can contain this information either by visiting your doctor or go to my supplements order page where you can get the home testing kit to do those two tests for you. I even got a discount for you there if you're interested. But either way it's crucial that you get to know your total testosterone and free testosterone. You cannot start this journey of getting your testosterone up <laughs> if you don't know where you stand. Now ideally both of these metrics should fall within the upper 20 percent of what is considered normal. If they don't and for most of us they won't then it's essential to give serious thought to systematically incorporating each stage of the T boosting protocol. Remember, each level plays a vital role, so you can't skip any of them. If you skip them, well, then you can just as well go straight to steroids because then you don't try and follow a scientific approach. Now, if you struggle to understand your lab results and the way forward, what you must do, I invite you to book a single consultation with me. I'll put the link for you up on the screen and in that single consultation, I will help you analyze your lab reports and to help you address the way forward. Okay, now let's look at a quick summary of the first level's three steps. The first level is the easiest to implement. But you cannot go forward if you did not implement the first level. Those three critical components are number one, resistance training. Engage in resistance training at least four times a week. It's a potent tool to increase a man's testosterone level. The science behind it is multifold. Let me quickly go through it. First of all, the stress response. Resistance training plays physical stress on the body, leading to the release of hormones like cortisol, adrenaline and testosterone to manage that stress. It's an automatic response from the body. Second, muscle activation. Resistance training stimulates muscle growth with testosterone playing a crucial role in the muscle protein synthesis and tissue repair. Third, intensity and volume. Heavier weights and high intensity workouts contribute to a more significant testosterone release by the body, as does higher training volume. Fourth, recovery. After resistance training, the body requires time to recover, which includes hormonal adaptions and the normalization of your testosterone levels. All this together, through resistance training, increase your testosterone levels. Notable studies such as those by Weston Phillips 2012 and Harkinen 2001 have demonstrated clearly the relationship between resistance training and the increase in testosterone levels in males. Okay, now on to the second factor in the first level, and that is caffeine and creatine. 
Ah, I say, what the hell? Yeah, it's true. Caffeine and creatine plays a vital role. Science has shown that both caffeine and creatine positively, positively impact natural testosterone production. For caffeine, a 2022 study conducted on humans found that up to a 23% increase in testosterone during intense training. While creatine may not directly increase testosterone, its benefits for athletic performance can indirectly enhance your training and thus stimulating testosterone release. The last crucial factor of the first level and the most important one, focused diet. A diet tailored to your goals, age and sex, is crucial for optimal testosterone levels. Key aspects of such a diet that supports optimal testosterone levels include correct protein intake, caloric balance, and essential fats. Various scientific studies have explored the connection between dietary choices and testosterone levels. Without the right diet, your testosterone levels will fall. Muscle growth will stagnate and even diminish. If you struggle with your diet, guys, no problem. Just book a single consultation with me and I will create for you a seven day meal plan for your goals, age and sex with a focus on the T-boosting protocol. Okay, but now one of the most important factors is how would you know if this T-boosting protocol, the first level, is working for you? Remember those three things? The first one was resistance training, the second one was caffeine and creatine, and the third one was the right diet you need to follow. How would you know that they work and they actually increase your testosterone levels? Well, in the realm of scientific approaches, it's crucial to validate specific factors both before and after your journey. Now to gauge your progress, you'll first assess your total testosterone and free testosterone levels before you start your journey. Your journey is gonna be a three month period. And then after your three month period, you again going to do the same blood work tests for your total testosterone and your free testosterone. That will give you direct indication if they went up, stayed the same or went down. Now, if you find that your progress has plateaued, not moving forwards, but your levels is still below the target values of 824, well, then it's time to progress to level two of the T-boosting protocol. But as long as your levels are increasing, you don't move on to level two. It's increasing, so you continue, and again after another three months, you test. The moment that they plateau or stay at the same and still below the target values, that is when you move to level two. But you never ever drop level one. That forms your base for moving forward with your T boosting protocol. Now, guys, conclusion by implementing these three components of the first level of the T boosting protocol, you're taking your first step in your journey to boost your testosterone levels naturally and effectively. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos in the series. I will explore the remaining four levels, delving deeper into the science behind it. If you're interested in my coaching, I'll put up the link for you on the screen. You can just click there and well, see what I offer. Wish you all happy training and viral testosterone levels. Go for it guys. Cheers man. Gert Love and Cape Town, signing off. Cheers.